Hi everybody, this is Julie Bradley from Tiny Bean Photography. I'm a newborn and baby photographer based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Tonight we're going to be learning how to, to composite two images of baby in froggy pose. So I have my two images I'm going to start with. This first one, mom is holding onto the head. And in the second one, mom is holding onto the hands. So we want to do as little work as possible. So we're going to start with this image here. This is going to be the image that we really are using mostly. And we're just going to use the other image just to fill in this part of the head and background that's covered by mom's hand. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go into my image where the bonnet and the head is very clear. And I'm just going to take my lasso tool and I'm going to kind of outline any area that I think we might need to cover. So this right here, so I'm just going to copy them. Control C, I'm using on my computer, and Control V to paste. So we've got the top of her right here. And I'm just going to try and line these up as best I can. If you go into your layers box and you take down the opacity of your top layer, you can try to um, move it up or down and try to figure out where the eyes are and try to make a good match. So I'm just kind of trying to match it up right here. It doesn't need to be exact because we're not really messing with her face or her skin. We're just going to be messing with the bonnet. So when I think she's pretty close, Maybe right about there. I'm going to go ahead and take the opacity up all the way to 100%. Okay, so I have her placed exactly like I want her, but I'm only going to be um, using the bonnet. I'm going to mask off her face. So I just created a vector mask. That's my little box here with the circle in it. And this is going to let me delete or add in that layer, but um, it doesn't disappear completely like using the eraser tool. So I've got my brush. And I'm going to switch it over to black. And so wherever I paint with this black brush on my mask layer, over here in my layers, it is going to erase that area. So I want to erase, I'm getting a little bit things in here. I want to erase all of baby's face because we're going to use the bottom image for baby's face. And I'm going to go in here and just touch up this outline so it kind of blends in a little bit better. I'm using my um, brush at 100% opacity, but even though it's at 100% opacity, um, it's a very uh, feathered brush. So up here on my brushes, you can see that the hardness is all the way down to 0%. So it's a nice hard brush. Now if I switch this back to white and I paint, it's going to get rid of mom's finger. And so that layer didn't disappear, which was just a mask. Okay, so I have that kind of figured out. So the only area that I really have to worry about is up here where mom's hand is. And I can, I can fix that in a minute. So there we have it. It looks like the baby is sitting there by herself. And mom's hand is almost out. So you can stop watching now. That's the end of the composite. Or you can continue watching to see how I get rid of this if you want to. So what I'm going to do is just smooth this out so I don't have a harsh line. And I'm just going to clone. So I'm going to take my layers, merge them down so it's one layer instead of two. I'm going to use my clone tool. And I'm going to use hold down the Alt key and click as my source point. So I'm going to start there. And then I just paint on the background. And of course, I'm going way too fast. I should be slowing down and paying attention. So I'm going to fix this spot here. I might even go around this one just to catch up. And there you have it. Baby needs cropped, her skin needs fixed, but she's composited. So we can see how we take two images and make them one. Thanks for watching.